This ad is brought to you by Read More Comics, where you can find comic books, graphic novels, and more. I'm on the mission, the bomb was in, call me away. I'm on the time to carry the colors again. My motivation and no pass won't in the fan. To win the honor of coming back home again. No explanation will matter after we begin. I'm not the dark, destroy our lives, bury them then. My true vocation and I'm my unfortunate friend. You will discover my own war, you're on me. What's up guys, me again. I assume that you've been an avid viewer of my show for a long time now, since 2016. I did an audiobook of Around the World in 80 Days. So, in commemoration of that, and given a lot of thought, I decided to do the same, give the same treatment to the Jungle Book, the original novel by Rudolph Keenly. It's a real patron. And now, without further ado, here we go. Now, chill the bat. Cat brings home the night that Mag the Bat set free. The herd are shut down prey and hunt for loose till dawn are we. This is the hour of pride and power, talents and trust and claw. Oh, hear the call, good hunting, good hunting all that keeps the jungle law. It was seven o'clock on a very warm evening in the Sioni Hills. When Father Wolf woke up from his day's rest, scratching himself, yawning, and spread out his paws one after the other to get rid of the sleepy feelings in their tips, Mother Wolf lays with her big gray nose chopped up across her four timbling, squibbling cubs, and the moon shone into the mouth of the cave where they all lived. Uh, mm said Father Wolf. It's time to hunt again. He was going to spring downhill when he and a little shadow with a bushy tail crossed the threshold with and whine. Good luck with you, O oh chief of the wolves, and good luck with strong white teeth goes with noble children that they never forget the hungry in this world. It was Tabaki, the jackal, at the dish liquor, and the wolves from India despised Tabaki because he runs out about making mischief and, and telling tales and eating rags of pieces of leather from the village rubbish heat hips. But they were afraid of him too because Tabaki more than anyone else in the jungle is a part or to go mad. In the, then he forgets that he, he, he was ever afraid of anyone and runs through the forest, biting everything. Even tigers run and hide when little Tabaki goes mad, for madness is the most difficult thing that can overtake a wild creature. When and we call them Hepurida, but they call him Dewey, the madness, and run. Enter, enter then, and look, said Father Wolf cheerfully. But there is no food here, for for a wolf. No, said Tabaki. But for a, but for so mean of a person as myself, a dry bone is a good feast. Who are we, the jackal people, to pick and choose? He scouted to the back of the cave where he found a bone with a buck, bone of a buck with some meat on it, and sat there crackling the, in the end. All thanks for the good meal, he said, licking his lips. How, how beautiful are the noble children? How large are their eyes? And so young, too. Indeed, indeed, I might have remembered that the children of the king are men from the beginning. Now Tabaki knew as well as anyone else that there is nothing so unlucky as to compliment children to their faces. It pleased him to see Mother Wolf and Father Wolf of look uncomfortable. Tabaki sat still, in rejoicing the mischief that he had made, and he said spiritedly said, Shere Khan, the big one, has shifted his hunting ground. He will hunt among these hills for the next moon, so he has told me. Shere Khan was the tiger who lived near the Wagana River, twenty miles away. He has no right, 
Father Wolf began angrily. By law of the jungle, he has no right to change his quarters without due warning. He will forget every head, head of game within and ten miles, and I, and I have no to kill for two these days. His mother did not call him La Kee for nothing. Mother Wolf said, "Mother Wolf cordially, he has begun. He's been lame even the one foot from his birth, and that's why." He only kills cattle. Now the villagers of the of the Wakanda was angry with are angry with him. Then he has come here to make our village angry. They will scour the jungle from him when he is fat and far away. And we are and we and our children must run when he when the grass is set a light. Indeed, he we are very. Grateful to Shere Khan. Shall I tell him of your gratitude? Said Tabaki. Out! F snapped Father Wolf. Out! And hunt like thy master. Thou hast done harm enough for one night. I go, said Tabaki quickly. Ye can hear Shere Khan below. In the uh, tickles. I might have saved myself the message. Well, hope you guys enjoy that. See you all next time. Hey guys, what is up? Great news! It was on May 18th on the Saturday, I'm going to MegaCon Orlando, Florida. And it is going to be awesome. All my favorite, practically all my favorite voice actors are going to be there. A lot of people are going to be there. A lot of favorite celebrities and stuff like that. And I'm really looking forward to it. And see you all there. And well, that's all for today. See you all next time. And see you there at MegaCon Orlando, Florida. And yeah, well, see you there. Have fun there. <laughs> Farewell friends, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to check us out on Patreon, Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, FanFiction.net, Rattled, and Casting Call Club.